Next is Mail. Now, Mail is one of the most used applications on both the iPhone, iPod, and iPod Touch, or iPad and iPod Touch. And we're making it even better in iOS 5. We're adding rich text formatting, so you can set things as bold, italic, and underline. You can control the indentation, so if you're forwarding something, you can unindent it or further indent it. You can now drag the addresses between 2CC and BCC. <laughs> you don't have to retype them again. We've added support for flagging, so you can flag and unflag. Now, this next one has been an incredibly popular request. In addition to searching from, to, and subject, you can search the entire contents of all your messages, both the messages on your phone and all the messages back on the mail server. So search the entire contents of your messages. For the iPad, we added a really nice swipe to inbox gesture. So it makes it really nice to use this in portraits. So you can swipe it on, tap on something, swipe it off. And with every release of iOS, 5, or iOS, we continue to add more support for our enterprise customers. And one example of that in iOS 5 is we've added support for S-MIME. So now, I think we've done a really nice job of this. So now if you have the certificate of someone else, you automatically get this lock icon right in the addressing field to, to show you this will be encrypted when sent to the other person. And let me just go ahead and give you a demo of a few of these features now. All right. So first, I can just show you a simple gesture. I can just pull on the inbox right from there. So anywhere you are when you're in portrait, just pull it on. You don't have to go hunt up and find the right button for it. You can see we have flagging here, so I can tap on that flagged message. Oh, one other feature we've added is a built-in dictionary throughout the OS as a service now. So before, we had a dictionary in the iBooks app. But we now have brought that to the entire OS so all apps from the App Store can use it. So here, if I just press down, let's say, on Leachies, I don't know what that is, let's say, uh, I get a define in addition to copy. Tap define. There it is, built-in dictionary. It's great. <laughs> if I, say, respond to this message, again, I can grab one of these addresses and now just drag it to BCC drag to two, and rearrange it. It's really nice and easy. Now, there's one more feature I want to show you, and it's actually a system-wide feature having to do with the keyboard. When we released the original iPhone, we revolutionized the way people would type on multi-touch displays. And we keep on challenging ourselves to make that even better. Well, we have a new variant of the keyboard in iOS 5 for the iPad, which we think people who like to type with their thumbs while holding it are really going to like. In the bottom right, you see the keyboard button, and now it has some grab handles. If I just take those and drag it up, it splits it into two. And so what it does is it just moves the keys closer to your thumbs on the side. So you can, you can put it wherever you want. It's really nice, and it's persistent for every app in the system. It just stays where you put it. If you want to put it back down, just press and hold. If you dock and merge, it goes back down to the bottom. So even a split keyboard. And that's mail.